Good Morning Britain coming up on the show. As school children in Syria suffer the daily threat of war, world leaders gather in London to raise funds for the victims. The UK government's promising to double its contribution to more than £2 billion. Britain signalling its intent to deal with the refugee crisis in the region and not here on our own doorstep. Holidaymakers are warned the Zika virus could spread to the Mediterranean this summer, also this morning. I want to speak out to help others who have suffered like I have, like I am. Former footballer Clark Carlisle tells us why he's tackling the stigma surrounding mental health. And have you been on Facebook yet this morning? The social media website is 12 years old today. We're going to be telling you how to avoid the faux pas, which could leave you red-faced and friendless. Thursday, 4th of February, 2016. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. Hello there, it's just after six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Uh, we're all looking mauvey purpley. Mm, it's a purple patch for it's us all. A purple patch, that's yeah. what it is. Uh, Laura's over there looking very purply patchy. Yeah, I am. And literally, like the weather the other day, I don't know if you saw, they had those amazing clouds. Yes. They sort of look like rainbows in the sky. Lots of people have been spotting them over the last couple of days, but you will not see them this morning. That's down to the fact it is cloudy and overcast for many of us. A much milder start to the day this morning. Not much in the way of sunshine. Cloudy, dull and damp, but it will turn wetter and windier overnight. I'll have more details later. Laura, thank you 